Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to have a quick look at the HEQ G-Port 3-axis gimbal. It is uh, a gimbal system for HD FPV cameras, there it is there, and I have a little Caddx camera mounted in there. comes in a couple of varieties, uh, one for Caddx Walk Snail and one for DJI 03. Unfortunately I don't have either of those cameras, but uh, you can just mount a camera in there and have the, the cable sort of uh, running loose. I'll show you more detail about how they intend it to be connected but uh, this is how I'm going to have to try and use it. It's also configurable by an, an app uh, but it's an EXE file so it's PC only, Windows PC only and I have a Mac so I can't demonstrate that at this stage. Uh, I'm going to have to borrow someone else's computer to do that uh, but that means that you can also uh, connect it up to your radio receiver and have uh, pan, tilt and centering uh, via your radio dials but um, I won't be able to show you that. I'll be able to just show you the uh, basic stabilized uh, performance. Now Banggood sent this to me, uh, they sent it to me before actually asking me about it so I couldn't tell them that I didn't have the right gear to test it but uh, we will be able to get some sort of result out of it but uh, it looks like a nice little gimbal. Can go right way up or mount it up the other, other way but you need the uh, configuration app to do that so I'll have to use mine hanging down like that. Let's buzz over to the internet and have a look at what they say. Uh, here it is US dollars basically 150 bucks uh, from Banggood and there's uh, DJI 03 and Caddx camera so it's a three axis stabilized gimbal. Uh, what was I going to show you here? You can take this little mount off here and mount your different cameras and then put it back in can be standalone with no connection to your RC or you can have Mavlink, SBUS or PWM control. Weight 67 grams and here are the dimensions. And the gimbal angles, pitch minus 135 to 45 degrees, yaw 135 degrees either side and roll 45 to minus 45 side to side. Input voltage 12 to 24 volts. Now if we go over direct to the HEQ website, uh, we can see the downloads. Go to the support page and we can download the G-Port Gimbal Assistant and Manual. And that takes you to their Dropbox folder. A uh, couple of firmwares there. There is a firmware update I believe. And here is the Assistant. And Gport Exe here is the, the assistant. Uh, as I said, that's PC only, not Mac, so I can't demonstrate that. But that's where you get it from anyway. Now, what comes in the box? I'll just show you. I've made up this little mount so I can hang it just for the moment. Uh, you can flip it upside down if you have access to the, the app, which I don't at the moment. But um, you can see we get the mounting plate with some little uh, damping rubbers there, which is very nice. Also in the box we get a PWM control cable, a S bus control cable and a power cable uh, which I have soldered up to a, a 3S balance port so I can power it. Instruction manual and a few little nuts and bolts and things. Instruction manual shows the dimensions and I guess there are different mounting options for the two different cameras that's why you have to choose the O3 or the Caddx style cameras. Interfaces, we've got the power in there, uh, USB-C, SBUS connection, PWM connection and this will be the Mavlink connection I guess. This shows what you can do with the app, you can set the control channels and the mode, there's a speed mode or an angle mode. Uh, you can calibrate the gyros and accelerometers. You can switch from camera facing down to camera facing up and you can do the firmware upgrades as well. Now I thought it was only walk snail cameras uh, or O3 but this is my Vista or Runcam Link or whatever it is and the Caddx camera and I've plugged the MIBI cables in, replaced the cable between the unit and the camera so that it goes from uh, the VTX to the gimbal body and then comes in through the mount so that you don't have a uh, the MIPI cable sort of restricting the movement of the camera. And uh, it works perfectly well, so uh, can support other Caddx cameras other than Walksnail, which is great. So I might as well plug it in and just show you what it does. 3S battery here, I'll just plug it in. 
this is just powering up the the unit and not the camera itself at this stage uh, but i will show you that later on so the camera goes through its little self calibration goes through all the angles so you can see there nicely stabilized side to side or roll pitch and yaw it just sort of smooths out the the yawing motion uh, so now I need to try and work out how to demonstrate it. What I'll do, I'll take it out for a walk around and I'll have a, a fixed camera uh, and compare it to the recorded video from the Caddx as well. And I really want to put it on a plane, but to do that I'd like to switch it upside down so I can mount it on the top of the plane so that it's not going to be damaged when it comes in for a landing. But uh, I'll need to access the PC computer before we do that. Because I can't put it on a plane to try this out, I thought I'd try it out driving around in the car uh, as we go up and down hills and uh, stuff like that. And we'll just see how the stabilised gimbal compares to run cam fixed on the top. Uh, I've got a nice big dip down here. Uh, so let's see how the angle goes. Car's jiggling it around a bit, so that may be a bit difficult, but anyway, you'll see the angles changing there. Put the aircon on to uh, try and cool the little uh, air unit if we can. So we're going for a drive around the bluff or Rosetta Head. There it is. That's the bluff up there. Very good slope soaring site. Chat Willy Wagtail. It's where we park to go slope soaring. No one there at the moment. Wind's in the wrong direction probably. But uh, it's a pretty steep and windy little road, so it should be good to try out the, the gimbal. I was jiggling around a fair bit in the car, um, but yeah, it'll be a good test of the stability. Anyway, it's a relatively inexpensive FPV stabilizing three axis gimbal. Um, And we'll finish up with a nice big dipper, uh, having a side, but we'll finish up with a nice big, but we'll finish up by going down that nice big dipper again with a side view, um, and uh, think about how I can get it onto a plane. I could put this whole unit on the plane, I suppose, but it'd have to be a big, stable plane that isn't going to um, lose it mid-flight. Great views out to the sea out there. Just jiggling around a fair bit. Here we go, see what we do down the big the big dip. Oh yeah, a bit of an angle there. Whee! Well, that'll probably do it. Um, yeah, interesting little unit, uh, not too expensive, works well. And uh, all right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.